What is up aliens? In today's video we're going to be discussing Call of Duty Cold War with some tips and footage on how to make you better. Maybe you're chasing people too much. Maybe you're using the wrong weapons. Maybe you're using the wrong attachments. We got some tips that are going to help you out. Let's jump right in. The rush routes. Rush routes, you typically want to be using an SMG and with SMGs, um, not just the SMG, but don't equip anything that's going to slow down your sprint speed because that's really going to put you at a disadvantage with the rush routes. Um, also, Gung Ho, that is very, very good to use with this. Um, it allows you to fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting. Also, move at full speed when reloading. You can switch your weapons faster and also less damage from falling and fire more accurately while sliding. So that's going to be... Um, that's going to be your best bet with uh, rush routes as of right now. Um, also, it helps, you know, in general, just to study the maps. And I know that's kind of nerdy. And I'm talking like not just while you're playing the game, like look at an actual overview of the map. Um, that actually does help if you're studying it like that. And, you know, while you're playing the actual game, yes, of course, study it like that. But also getting an overhead view, knowing exactly where everything is, that helps. That leads me to my next point. Try to know the common spawn points. Um, when you know spawn points, you're just a step ahead of everyone else. Not just, you know, when you know it, you, you can predict where an enemy is going to be. And like I said, it just gives you an advantage over everyone else. And another thing is teammate location. That can help you determine where enemies are going to be or where they're going to be spawning roughly. Another big thing would be revenge. Do not seek revenge. Um, when you seek revenge, you are most likely going to be less alert uh, of the things that are going on around you. Um, and just say, you know, if you're seeking revenge, this person has, so this person has probably already killed you a few times. And if you get killed while on your revenge chase, it's just going to make you more mad and throw your game off even more. So revenge is just a big no. I still do it to this day. I know it's easy to do. And it's one of those things that you just have to make a conscious effort not to do. Um, otherwise it's, it's just a big negative. Head glitches. I mean, everyone does it. I do it. It's just kind of the, the way the maps are set up and the way they're designed. Um, so head glitching is a big thing you have to watch out for, which is just essentially people peeking their head over and sometimes it does not even show the gun um, and it'll just show their head, yet their gun is actually pointed at you. You just can't see it. You can only see their head. People do it over barrels, boxes. It's just like, <laughs> I want to say it's like 80% of the of each match it's, it's somebody head glitching always assume that when you're going to round a corner that somebody's head is going to be peeking over something in the distance at you so always 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 be prepared for that even if there's no one there it's better to be prepared um than you know not and get smacked and wiped to the ground so boom boom baby on to the next uh well i'll be quick with this one campers it's not cool it's not gonna do anything for your skill level if anything people who uh people look at campers like uh they're trash but i'm not gonna look at you and say you have talent and uh competitive gaming they're not gonna look at you and think that you're anything special so it's not cool um power positions are another story you can have a power position and control all day long like on satellite, um, I usually do a power position in the cave in the back and I can pop people left and right, left and right, left and right. And then I'll get a sentry turret and that's a power position. I'm not sitting in one spot hiding, waiting for you to come out. That's just like, that's, that's trash. It's so trash. This kind of leads into my next thing. Um, don't go to the same spot you have gotten killed at numerous times. Uh, usually what causes this is a camper. So when you uh, just say you're coming around a corner um, and and you just keep getting popped every single time, but you know where the person is, you think, oh, I'm going to get them next time. And you go and you they do the same thing again. And you're like, nope, I'm going to get them next time. You go and repeat. And it's just the same thing over and over and over because they're camping. So don't do that. Um, that will that just causes frustration and throws off your whole entire game. Um, try different routes. First thing, just try a different route. If the chances are they are probably going to be checking both spots they can be taken out at. So you probably, you might get popped, but they might not be paying attention. 
you know, when you take that, that other route, they may be focused on someone else. So if you were playing with other people, you could use, um, you could be a distraction or your teammate could be a distraction. So that's one thing to watch out for and keep in mind. And if that doesn't work, try a different weapon, you know, try a sniper rifle, just try something else, try a grenade launcher, anything, a rocket launcher, because eventually they will get taken out and it may, it just may take a couple times, but those are going to be the best tips that I have for someone who is camping and how to take them out. Okay, next one's gonna be quick jump shots. It is what it is. It's really one of those practice makes perfect kind of things. So um, jump shots are definitely helpful. There are times when it can, you know, not work out in your favor. You don't ever wanna jump like just straight towards someone. More left and right leaves them with more um, difficulty aiming. Like I said, it just practice makes perfect. It's not really one of those things you can really teach someone. Uh, you can try to explain it the best you can. Okay, so the next big one is don't try to set up your um, loadouts after a game and before you go into your next game because I know more often than not with me, I think, oh, I can do this real fast. I find out I want something else and then um, I'm, I, it ends up that I'm in the game like trying to set up my class and stuff. Don't test out your weapons and your attachments in the game. Throw, be patient be patient and throw yourself in a game with some bots and test it test it there because i mean unless you just really don't care about your kd or you know any stats or anything then that's fine but for somebody who's really trying to get better i recommend throw yourself in that game with some bots go into it figure out what you need to do and then go into a real game that way you're not getting frustrated and you know exactly what you need and what you you know expect use ammo crates i know this one is a lot this is one that people overlook a lot of times but it's something to actually think about like every time you run past an ammo crate even if you have scavenger even if you don't have scavenger use the ammo like grab it snag it take it because you may get in a situation where you're not really paying attention to your bullets or um, you may just run out of bullets and had you have gotten the ammo from the ammo crate even when you did not need it um, it, it could save your life. It's saved my life plenty of times. And it's one of those things that people don't really think about. And it's just like, when it happens, you're like, oh, I wish I would have gotten it. Cause they are in places where you just run by and you don't grab it. And you're like, I don't need it, but definitely grab it every time. Make it like a, a habit of just grabbing it. Every time you see an ammo crate, boom, grab it. Spawn flipping use spawn flipping to your advantage this is where it comes in handy to not stay stuck up your teammates no i usually do not like to follow my teammates just because um i can get better vantage points if i stay on the opposite side you know the other team is focused on all of them and i know where i can sneak up at and just pop all of them all the other team and just uh, wipe the whole team so watch out for spawn flips. Use spawn flips to your advantage. And when you are not with all of your teammates, you can guess on your map and determine when the spawns are gonna flip and kind of keep yourself close to their spawn, but not too deep into it. And that way when they spawn, they're thinking, oh, the whole team is on a yay side and there you are, their backs are turned to you and you can just take them all out. So I'm not saying camp and just wait for them, but I mean, Use the spawn flips to your advantage for sure. All right, another tip. This one is um, more of a personal preference and this is something that you can practice, but it has to do with your um, gameplay style and that is pre-aiming. And some people prefer to slide instead of pre-aim. I myself like to pre-aim. I mean, if you're using an SMG or something like really fast, then that might be where you want to slide. When I use the AK-47, I like to pre-aim around every single corner and I like to predict where people are going to be and already be aiming in. And that has helped me so, so much. Um, so I definitely recommend trying that. Um, like I said, I'm doing it with the AK-47 right now. And I just, like on satellite, there are so many corners for people just to pop around, uh, especially up there by the plane. Um, when you're going down that little cave area, that, that right there is a great pre-aim spot that I constantly get kills and win um, head-to-heads. All right, and this one is gonna be a, this one's low. Oh, really? Use your teammates for bait. Not all the time, but especially if you're with a squad don't do this but if you are just playing solo and you're on a team 
use them for bait. If you're all going to an area, let them go in first. Let them die first, figure out where the enemies are coming from. It's just really, that's going to work out to your advantage a lot better than you running in and like being Mr. Macho Man and like killing everybody because that's probably not going to happen. And if it does, great, kudos to you, but it's not going to happen every single game. So it's best to just let your teammates run in, get killed, and then you can kill the people who killed him and you can be a savior and then you can kill all of the other teammates and then you'll really be a Macho Man. So it's better just use them for bait if you're going to stay beside them. I personally do not like to follow my teammates just because if you go the opposite, not the opposite direction, but stay on the opposite side, I don't like to stay with my teammates, but in the beginning of the matches, sometimes, you know, you have to, so let them, let them take one for the team and then you be the hero by killing who killed them and then kill the rest of the team, so. Okay, so this one is a little bit nerdy, but if you're serious about getting better, then go back and review your games good games and bad games. When you go back and review, you're going to see how you react to people who are killing you, how you react in situations, how you could have, you know, done something different. Um, it's just, it's really beneficial to go back and review everything that you did in a good game and review everything that you did in a bad game and then critique yourself and improve. Okay, so last nerdy tip for you is play like the pros. If you want to play like pros, you need to watch competitions. You're going to learn a lot of things that you're not even going to realize. Just watch it while you're laying in your bed. It's going to soak up in your brain. And the next thing you know, you're playing and you're applying what you have um, subconsciously taken in. Like I said, I know it's nerdy, but it is something if you're serious about getting um, better and playing more competitive, then definitely watching competitions is going to help your gameplay. Okay, aliens, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed these clips and tips on how to be better at Call of Duty. Go ahead and subscribe to become an alien and be part of my universe. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, stay weird.